<laughs> Daily Mail quested that and uh, an unusually heartwarming story of forgiveness and reconciliation. Yes, this is great. Uh, so Daily Mail, Boy in the Striped Pyjamas author John Boyne apologises to Father Ted creator Graham Linnan saying he could have used his platform to support him instead of adding to pile on in trans debate as Roisin mm. Murphy appears to change writers' minds. So this is great. We've had uh, a heartfelt apology. Yep. Graham Linehan has been absolutely gracious about it and said thanks very much, appreciate that. Could the yep. floodgates open? Because th there are so many people who are locked into the trans ideology who yeah. probably... Like, it's very difficult for anybody at this point, isn't it, to back out and say, do you know what, I've had a think and yeah. I'm not sure about this. Particularly I'm difficult for them to say so about Graham Linehan, who yeah. is, bit, you know, is, is not, you know, is not, I mean, he's, he's further than J.K. Rowling or whatever, isn't yeah. he, even yeah. though they both came from an equally loved place. Yeah. And this is quite a complex story, which we probably don't have all the time to go into John Boyne's history, but apparently he wrote a book, I think he's written a novel, uh, which is about a small boy who has a trans sibling. Is that Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and he is himself gay, so he's not just somebody who sort of dipped his toe in these waters, he's, he's had quite a lot of dealings with it. It's interesting, as you say, that this Roisin Murphy case has, has I don't know, suddenly... Brought it up, because people yeah. can see she said a very reasonable yeah. thing about puberty blockers, which the country, this country follows the guidelines now, and other European yeah. countries, Norway and whatnot. So the idea she said something controversial is ridiculous. I mean, she said it in quite heated terms, but her attack was on Big Pharma, yeah, right? It, yeah, absolutely. 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 But, of course, yeah, the left, far left, they, they, they don't matter about these things. Yeah. You either show 100% solidarity with the stuff, and in terms of, uh, you know, yeah. these poor kids, what they're going through and whatnot. I mean, I'm talking about in terms of them going on medication yeah. and their lives being medicalised for the rest of their life. But I, I read the letter. I know you read it because I saw you on Twitter. It was mm. a very gracious, well-written letter. And uh, and it is great that people now... It's very brave for, him to, to, for someone to, first of all, change their mind. Or not brave, yeah. but uh, shows intelligence. And, and also then to... Then go, yep, for that. Specifically habit. with Graham, as I yeah. say, because there's no one more toxic, and uh, it would be wonderful if that could be just like the, the heat could be drawn out of that. And good luck to Roshi and herself, of course.